Hello and welcome to the Sacred Gates Ascension podcast and welcome back or to the channel. Today's video is on transforming through challenge and how we can train ourselves to better transform ourselves when we experience challenge. For without challenge, we are not able to grow. Challenge gives us that perfect fertilizer, that ground, that foundation to grow and to change and to adapt and to become stronger and better and reach more of our potential in this lifetime. And this practice is super, super easy and it's going to interest you if you're into learning through your body and transmuting through your body. So what I want you to do is to is to find something that you can push your fist against, whether it's a wall, the edge of a table like I have here in front of me. So what I'm doing is I'm making a soft fist. I always say like pretend there's a little baby bird in there or a little egg or something and you don't want to crush it so that you haven't got like a tight fist. It's like a soft fist, not a collapsed fist, but a soft fist. And push that against something. Just one fist is fine. You can do two if you want to. And I'll do two right now. And I've got my fists against the edge of the table. And this is not only a good uh, technique for helping you to learn how to transform your body through resistance and tension, creating it, um, choosing to create that, but it's actually also a way to get free energy. So what you do is you put your fists against the wall or the, wall or the edge of something stable. Okay, it needs to be stable. This table is hardcore table. <laughs> and you want to instead of collapsing your elbow like this so just say this is pressing here you're not going to collapse your elbow okay you're going to keep your elbow bent and we're going to work with releasing tension through the joints so you're going to now pressurize against the wall or the fridge or the door edge or the table and you're going to keep your fist nice and soft as if you have a little baby bird or a little bird egg in there and now what you're going to notice is straight away you're feeling the resistance that you're pushing against. Now you can push really hard and tense up your entire body, okay? And this is how we can respond to challenges in our life as well. Or you can keep your joints open, listen and feel and correct error. Now error will be felt in the joints as tension. So you want to get maximal relaxation, minimal tension. So you don't want to collapse your entire structure. That's not what relax means in the context of this video or any of the videos I do. You want to allow that pressure, that resistance, that challenge, that external pressure to move through your body and find its way down to the ground. Now, if you're standing doing this, the ground will be felt through your feet. If you're sitting as I am, you're going to feel the ground force coming through your bottom, through your seated position on the ground, on the cushion. Okay? So pressing against. Now what you're getting back is free energy. You're getting back feedback, energy, resistance, pressure. Like a diamond is made through pressure, right? We always talk about this in these new age memes. The endless new age memes. <laughs> so allow yourself to feel the resistance. Now open up the point of contact. The point of contact is where your fist meets the, the, the physical wall or table or whatever. Soften that, relax that, bring your mind there. Notice how it expands and opens. It can now take more pressure. Now release tension in your wrists. Notice a soft, lighter experience, a lighter texture, a lighter quality in your wrists now. Now the tension might come back. You need to correct the error again. Now, you're becoming more familiar with that feeling of softness, of openness, yeah? It's got an expansive quality. Now allow that softness to travel up your forearms and pay attention now to your elbows. The elbows do store a lot of tension, as does the rest of the body. And we're often not aware of the elbows, so just become familiar with the elbows now and feel that 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 tension or that feedback that flow from the push of the on the wall the push on the surface is moving through now now relax your lower back and feel that that pressure is now able to move more fluidly fluidically fluidly through your shoulders so imagine that you were like a hose you know like a water hose a water pipe 
and water is able to flow through you. Your body is the host, so it's able to keep a structure, but it's hollow inside, allowing the pressure, the fluid, you know, the chi, your consciousness to move through your body. Relaxing the spine, let the tailbone relax. Relax the Ming Men, the lower back, the lumbar area, relax the perineum. Yeah, the perineum is that space between your genitals and your anus. It's that little skin called the taint. I saw a funny video on it. The taint. Okay, so relax that down. Relax your quads, which is the where your body meets your um, your legs. Your legs join to your torso. And keep releasing, 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 releasing. Feeling that ground path, that line through your body down to the earth. Now go and correct anything, point of contact, correct the knuckles, the, the bones, allow everything to open, allow your skin to open, and when I say open, I mean relax, soften. Through softening there is expansion, through expansion there is release. So you might notice if you're particularly aware right in this moment that there is there are two forces there's a force that is expanding yeah, and there's also another feeling that's condensing inside so as you release the pressure in your body while simultaneously receiving the pressure through your body you experience a an outward expansion expansive sensation and as you expand out you also there's a magnetic force of like contracting inside as well equally as you you could also explain it in this way as you apply pressure to the surface you receive the the pressure the resistance through it you open up to that you also experience an outward um, letting go outwards and upwards and all around and you also experience oh, lots of traffic you also experience a sinking down with the force and law of gravity on the planet. So there's an, an expansion bubbling up almost and out, and there's also a sinking down. There's an expansive and magnetic quality to this practice. Don't think about that too much, it won't help you. It's more just about experiencing, and the more you practice this, the more you're going to get not only just free energy and which allows you to release and relax and increase your vital energy, but you're also going to be able to train yourself so that when you experience something challenging in your life that you're going to be able to release and relax like water through a hose within your physical body and that will help your mind to do the same and help you to be stronger and deal with the stress so you can see that you can take more pressure through your body the more relaxed you are yeah you're able to um, bend not break you know and so this is all of this this practice I've just shared with you is really the mechanics of all of the things that we see that are able to bend not break you know that if you put too much pressure on yourself you're too hard you, you respond to everything with tension eventually you, you the, the dam bursts you know everything breaks and falls apart but if you'll be able to be soft like like they say like flowing like water or bendable and elastic like a rubber band or soft and 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 fluid like bamboo within a storm the bamboo often doesn't break you know it's able to bend with the movement it's able to open up the hose and allow the fluids through this practice is extremely powerful on more levels than what I'm saying right now it's a very foundational basic practice and it's fantastic you can just do it anytime you might be standing talking to someone that is kind of what we say these days triggering you and you can literally just put your hand if you're leaning against a table and just put your body against the table a little bit and start doing this and trust me it's going to help you so i hope that this has been beneficial please leave your comments if you'd like to comment on how this practice is for you and thanks for listening guys bye bye